why this region matters with all of its rich resources and rare earth elements. You've got the lithium triangle, which is needed for technology today. 60% of the world's lithium uh, is in the lithium triangle, Argentina, Bolivia, Chile. You just have the largest oil reserves, light sweet crude discovered off of Guyana over a year ago. Um, you have uh, Venezuela's resources as well with, uh, with oil, uh, copper, gold. Uh, China gets 36% 36, 36 of its food source from this region. We have the Amazon, uh, lungs of the world. We have 31% of the world's fresh water in this region too. Um, I mean, it's just off the charts. But then when you talk about trade, trade is unbelievable. The trade uh, in the region, you know, I talked about all the ties that we have with this hemisphere. Uh, but the PRC and a lot of our uh, countries in this region are, is the number one trade partner with the United States uh, number two in most cases, not in most cases, I would say in some cases. Uh, however, uh, to see the increase in investment in trade from 2002 from China, 18 billion uh, up to 450 billion now and on its way what is predicted to be about 750 billion uh, in the near future. And so I think we have a lot at stake. Uh, we have a, a lot to be grateful for in terms of the relationships with our, uh, with our partner nations and our hemisphere that, is, that we're part of and in the Americas, but we have, to, we have a lot to do. This region matters. It has a lot to do with national security, and we need to step up our game, and we need to be faster, and we need to work and deliver capabilities at the speed of relevance for this region.